Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Flint and Steel by Faraday. Easy difficulty gel puzzle. Enjoy. Alright, let's check it out. I wonder what that's about. We've got some clearing gel, or sorry, cleansing gel up there on an upper platform with a portal surface. Which is something you almost never see in a map. You almost never see a need to portal around cleansing gel. It's normally just there to clean stuff off. So let's see, we have some... ...directly on a button? We have some, uh, orange gel directly on a button. That is strange. What about this? Is this also directly on a button? Huh. So I guess we want to get stuff coated or something? What's the cleansing gel for? Like, if we get the cube coated in, uh, the blue gel, we can just coat it in the orange gel to clean it. Makes it slippery, but it's- it's- at least it's not bouncing around, right? Also, there's a way to recall it, so not even any point to that. We have... Oh, this looks familiar. Didn't we have this exact setup in another map of Faraday's? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, I think this is, like, almost exactly the same thing. Except that the funnel used to be able to reverse, and there used to be a secret companion cube if you went up high enough. I think. So what exactly is my goal in this map? I guess to get up there? What is up there? Oh, the exit is up there. Alright. So there's a little platform, and then we have to find a way, I guess using the light bridge to get around. Okay, well it looks like first order of business will be using the light bridge, so let's go ahead and get that. I can't turn it around this time because Faraday put grading in here. So, this light bridge is forever on the bottom half. Alright, let's- let's move over real quick. And we can't even get up there yet, because we can't turn the portal around, so we can't make the light bridge higher. This is as high as it's gonna get. I think we could technically see that portal surface if we stood on the cube. Not sure how intentional that would be, though. Oh wait, have I not even stepped on this? What does this do? Does this just get me up there already? Oh wow! Wow, this just directly takes me up here. Well, alright then. So, I could... Put the light bridge underneath the gel droppers? Then how would you get the gel on there? Because you could only press one button while being on the light bridge. I think I could drop the cube onto one of the buttons. And then if I got bounce gel on there, it wouldn't be close enough to get to there, and the orange gel would only land on one little spot, it wouldn't let me run along it. Why do I have a portal surface for this? Oh right, we have a funnel. I completely forgot about the funnel. Right, so... How... would be the best way to do this? Let's just get a bunch of orange gel everywhere to start with, right? Yeah, that'll be good for now. And then... Then what? 
No, because we want it on the light bridge, right? What height do we want the light bridge at? Oh, let's not do that, please. And it's too late. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least we didn't lose any progress, really. I tried to hit tab, that's how you could see through the world. I, I tried to hit my noclip key, but it was too late already. Alright, so, let's try this again. This time I want blue gel. bad place to put that portal. There we go. So now, theoretically, if I put the light bridge at two blocks high, I'll be able to jump onto it. And then maybe I will be able to jump up there as well. If I do... If I do something like that... The issue is that button, though, is that changing over to the light bridge won't give me enough time. How long does that button last? Actually, I could just put this cube on the button and, and do it while I'm in there. Now I have to line things up manually. Okay, that looks good. So we'll do this... ...and... ...this. Alright. Now... We can do... this. And theoretically, we might have enough height for this to work. Alright, so there's that. Actually... If we could hit the underside, we might be able to, to bounce a bunch. But... Issues getting that to work. So let's just do it this way. All right. So run back here, and we run forward. Yeah, that's not high enough. All right. All right. So we'll try. Should we try instead? How's that ever going to be high enough? Yeah, that is not high enough. And how else could I possibly get up here? Right, right! This exists! This takes me more than high enough. All I have to do is bounce on this gel here. Right! Okay. That makes things a lot easier. So I can just put that at the maximum height, in fact. Do this for a little while. And then we do this. And then, walk along this button for a moment. And then we 
we walk over here. There we go. Nice and simple. Awesome, now we need the cube up here. Okay, just gotta get- Oh, let's not do that, please! <laughs> I almost jumped directly into the deadly goo. Let's see, here. Come to me, cube. Wash it off if we want to, it's not strictly necessary, though. And I fell off, because of course I did. I think I got that extra height boost there. That was cool. Alright. Yes! I'm saving here. Alright, now it's just a straight shot to the exit. Cool puzzle, Faraday, I actually really like that. That is a good use of gels, in my opinion. That is an example of a good gel puzzle. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!